What's up, guys? I'm just Scar here. I'm sitting here. I don't know. But I'm doing a quick vlog. Not quick. I'll take this on. How to survive middle school. Yes, I know. Off topic of my channel, but I don't really have any other ideas because no one ever leaves any comments of like, oh, I want to see. Chuck Norris get beat up by a black guy or something. I don't know. But, um, back on topic. First step, be yourself. Don't just try to be like a popular kid. Like, if you're a nerd, be a nerd. Be smart. You'll get into a good college. Um, and then you'll get a good job. And then you'll have a lot of friends because you'll be rich. And then blah, 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 blah. You gotta wait. <laughs> but, um, if you're weird, there's really no hope for you. You gotta try to step it up. But, no, I'm just kidding. Everyone can be good but this exclude all the hate that you get this is what basically what hating means like they're jealous of who you are like they want to be you like in some cases like you're hating on someone like you're not hating them like you think they're annoying but you're not hating on them it's very complicated i'm not going to make a video on hate or anything but you can look on youtube about hate videos but back on topic um you gotta Probably try to like if you're popular already, you try to get good grades and not get yelled at by teachers. I need to learn how to not get yelled at by teachers. I already get good good grades, excluding science. But okay, um, and have a lot of friends that will support you. Like don't get friends that talk behind your back. Like okay, I do not know why I have this thing, but I want it at a, a park so. I like a Kennywood amusement park in Pittsburgh, PA. I don't live there, but okay. Let's ask my friend. How you doing, Chuck? I named him Chuck. Okay, he's my example today. But say you're friends with him, and Mr. Soccer Trophy Man, Sidney Crosby. We will use him, Sidney Crosby. Cindy Crosby comes over and says, Hey, hey Chuck. I'm sitting on his ass. But, hey Chuck. You know that guy named Brandon? That's my name. Um, he's really annoying. I am, but. <laughs> um, he ain't good looking. Um, and he goes, like, Oh, yeah. Like, you can't. People. If you talk behind people's backs, like, don't do that. Like, someone says, you know that kid's really annoying, you're friends with them. Don't disagree with them. And, like, you gotta stand up for your friend. Don't, like, no, he's not annoying. Why do you say he's annoying and stuff? Like, I really like him. He's a good friend. But if you're gonna talk behind people's backs, then get the hell out of Kansas. But, <laughs> um, yeah, that was my little example. I hope that made the video fun. But, goodbye, Chuck. Um, and if you talk behind people's backs, stop. Um, and if you have friends that talk behind people's backs, like you hear stuff, don't just say, no, you're not my friend anymore. Talk to them about it first and see if it's true. Because I had that come up, but it wasn't true. But, um, yeah, talk to them about it, but if they actually do talk behind your back, then... You don't, but say everyone goes to school, I hope, at their lunch table. And say that person sits at your lunch table and you and you have other friends there, but you don't want to move because he actually did talk behind your back. Stay there and just ignore him or her. I'm trying to... I keep talking to girl, but just ignore them. Don't be sucked up in the stuff. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm making this really long. I don't want to. Okay. And be nice to their te by your to your teachers. Like if you get a teacher's bad list, like me, most of the time, but um, they'll probably like get you more. Like you can get in trouble, get attention, ISS, OSS, and like get your grades to go down. You want some middle school? Blah, blah, blah. It's a big chain reaction. But I had that happen to my friend last year. Second grade, someone got held back. Some guy I know, he's 15 in my grade, and the highest you should be is 13. No, he's 14. He's turning 15 this year, but 
in like the summer, but back on topic, stop talking about that gay guy. <laughs> um, yeah, so you gotta be nice to your teachers and don't be annoying in front of people. Oh, I'm so annoying. Some people will, like hate me for that, but I don't care because mm, I'm being myself. Being myself. But if you are annoying in front of teachers, that's the only thing you can't be yourself. You have to be good. Especially for a substitute. There was a substitute today. She's pretty hot, but that's kind of why I bet I was being good to her. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's basically what you have to do. Get good grades, be nice to your teachers, have good friends that won't stand behind your back. Try to be popular and be yourself. Like, don't try to be popular so much. Like, if you're close to being there, go for it. But if you're, like, the weirdest kid in school, don't just be yourself. Like Alex Price, okay. Um, if the teachers you really hate, don't hate them back. Like don't go, like, don't give them sass or anything. Just try to be like a normal student and get out your work and stuff. They probably won't hate you anymore. Okay, well this is coming to a close, but I want to give a quick shout out. I'll put his name in the description. Ah, the description for his channel. His name is Bugsy Zero One Two Bugsy Zero Twelve. Um, he's going to make how-to videos. I kind of copied him on this one, but he I wanted to add a little bit to his. But you can go check him out. He's my friend from my school. He's just like me, about popularizing me. Not really, but because he was a new kid at our school. Yeah, new kids. People, the popular kids are probably going to want you to sit by them the first day. So be yourself. And if you end up sitting somewhere else the next day because they don't like you or anything, that's all right. Just go sit with other people. Make friends. Don't be shy. Um, I'm not shy. Well, yes, I am, but. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed. We'll just scar out.